Oh, hey. Welcome to the sawmill. Good to see you. You remember the old shows where the guy's working on something, looks up at the camera like it's a friend walking in? Kind of cheesy, but it's a friendly way to start a show. Well, today, as promised, we're going to be cutting up this large alder log. I got part of the bark off. The outside the log is a lot darker than the other ones. It doesn't have all the lighter colors in it. There are a few small streaks of light colors, but it might be a little bit more of a natural alder color in this log. We'll get the rest of the bark off of it, open it up, see what we can find. You have 19 inches that way. Seventeen inches, seventeen and a half inches that way. That's the big end. On the top end we have fourteen and three quarters. And we also have the sun and the shadows. We'll put an inch and a half tow board in here to split the difference. Okay, we're ready to go. First I'll give you a close-up of what this log looks like on the outside. We have a lot of dark alder color with a lot of light patches. This bright sun shadow doesn't help at all. A viewer told me about a filter I should look into to help out with the sunlight. Appreciate that. This is the shady side. It's a lot easier to see. I don't know what this is going to look like inside. Maybe a little bit like the outside. Well, one way to find out. Let's open this thing up and see. I can tell by the darker color of the sawdust, this one's going to look different than the other ones. Let's take a look. It's hardly spalted at all. It just looks like alder with a little spalting. Now we know why that sawdust was coming out so dark. So that's what alder looks like when it's not spalted. This lighter color in the middle, I don't think that's spalt. I think that's just the middle part that's still green. When you first cut
cut fresh alder, it comes out a very light color, then it turns dark. There's a little streak of spalting. Pretty stuff. I'm gonna try a little experiment. I wanna see how thin of a layer I can cut off of this. See if I can cut off an eighth inch layer. See what happens. That's how thin the slice is I'm gonna take off the top. Before I make that cut, I wanted to show you the middle part of this log. If you remember before, these patches were almost white. Now they're turning darker. That's what alder does. As soon as it gets exposed to the air, it starts turning colors. that just a little thin piece of alder that is that is that's about a sixteenth of an inch thick that's pretty cool I'm gonna dry this see what happens see if it just curls up or cracks I don't know what I'm going to use this for. Probably nothing. I'm sure somebody could use that for some kind of craft. It's just, I don't know, thin slice of wood. Why is that so cool? For some reason, a really thin piece of wood is just cool. I don't know why. Enough fooling around. Take another layer off. Oh, this looks different. Just two inches down makes a big difference. A few small streaks of spalting. This white in the middle, I think that's just green wood. There's a big patch of green wood in the middle. It just hasn't had a chance to dry out yet. I think that'll turn darker as it sits. That is some pretty wood. Always be mindful of your log stops. Make sure they're lower than the blade. This side's very different. I think this was the side of the log that was sitting on the ground. It stayed wetter longer. 
I'll cut some more slabs, then I'll bring you in to take a look at it. Have a little more spalting on this side. A big still green patch in the middle. Looks like the sun's out to stay for a while. It doesn't show up very good in this kind of sunlight. That's the outer edge. I'm left with this thick eight inch slab. I could keep cutting the two inch slabs, making live edge slabs, but I don't know if there's anything really spectacular about this live edge. And I have a lot of live edge slabs from the last couple videos from the other log. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just tip this on, on its end, just cut some dimensional lumber out of it. Maybe some two by eights. What if I had book match two by eights? What if we made a tabletop out of those? Instead of the live edge, just have thick square edged pieces. I'm not sure I'm going to make a table, but I think that would look really good. I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut these into dimensionals. I think I'm just bored with the slabs. I want to cut these into some dimensional. We'll get some, maybe some different grain angles, some grain patterns if we do it that way. Let's see what happens. Now that the sun's fully out, I had to put on my sun hat. It's getting too hot in the other one. Ooh, a text. There are our, there are our, here are the two by eight out of that alder log. See how white that is in the middle? That partly green wood. I'm gonna let these sit out a while. I'll come back and show you what they look like after they've darkened up. That low angle sun is just causing all kinds of problems here. I'm going to wait until the sun goes down or start back up in the morning and show you what these look like in better light. It's the next morning. We got an unexpected rain shower early this morning. Got these alder pieces wet. I wanted to show you what they look like wet. This is that spot that was white. Most of it's turned orange. The 
moisture brings out the color, it also brings out how rough that blade was cutting. That's the dry spot in contrast with the wet. Here are the two by sixes. And I still think that light part will turn dark as it dries. Isn't that some pretty wood?